What is up my awesome YouTubians and welcome back to From the Depths where we are once again back in the adventure mode and I have done absolutely and utterly nothing, <laughs> nothing at all to our construct since we were last here. Today um, I am hoping to get this thing airborne so that's going to be my main focus for today and as always you know uh, popping a couple of constructs here and there I think we should probably end up jumping through a gate as well but at the moment I'm just going to quickly go and if I can come out of there go and grab that 5k from there or 6, 6k from there and see if we can blow that thing up and then pop through a gate. So that's going to be, you know, the sort of things that we're going to be getting up to today. Obviously, you know, I'll probably end up doing something else as I always get distracted. <laughs> but that's the idea. So anyway, let us start. Let us get on with all of this good stuff. Who read that instead of first bit of beast work we probably do want to try to change is changing all of our air pumps into these guys over here. And we're going to pop them onto hover like a so and we're gonna do a copy as well okay so that's that one let us quickly do the rest so yes I think last time somebody said we should probably put up uh, change our torpedoes and make them all EMPs I think you know we're gonna try that out today to be honest Let's uh, do that very quick. Quicker Ali. I mean, I do know we got these three over here. These are EMPs over here. Uh, we're probably going to end up removing them at some point. So let's do that. Let's pop these down on EMP. Like so. Who keeps to let us start popping down these um, internal deadly blades and try to get something going here. What else are we going to need? Probably go all the way up. Let's see how sort of like it's somewhat two meters thick there. I think I'm going to keep it like this just in case I want to go three meters thick or just to want to protect these a bit more. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. Uh, let's pop down some of these good things. And over here. One, two, three. Right, then, so we've got those things installed. Let us do one of those, one of them, and do the same on the other side. One of those, one of them. Hopefully, we're not going to topple over and all of that horrible, nasty stuff. Okay, so we've installed our Deddy Blades. Uh, they're all just on motor drive. They're all on pusher for now. I think that's probably how they're going to say. Who read that? And so I've installed a couple of helium pumps around the place. Don't think I've really covered everywhere with helium pumps, to be honest. Um, also, we've installed all of the Deddy Blades um, where I could. So let's just quickly pop into here. Let's quickly have a look into the adjust mounts. And let's pop this one to 40. Is you going to do something? It's trying to. Oh, jeebus, it's getting there a little bit. So what is this actually telling me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's saying. Who read that? And so we also have some power issues uh, as we've just installed, you know, those uh, Deadly Blades, those Deadly Blades, they're supposed to be using, they're motor driven and therefore, you know, they're using power. They want power. And as you can see from down here, we're zero out of, you know, about 5k. Um, so what that is telling me is we probably need to install some more batteries. It would be nice also to make this construct a little bit lighter. But if we go lighter, that means that um, we're going to be less defended. We're going to have left defend less defense uh, than we do currently. Which currently we're just, you know, a shell really. We don't have any form of armoring to be honest so yeah that is a bit of an issue let's 
get some of those out of the way as well. So something like that. Hopefully for now that is going to be enough. And yeah, that is pretty much taking our nose there up and out of the water, which yes, that's a, a good thing. So I assume that if we did go over here now and we did say, you know, please, you know, give us like the uh, 30 altitude, for example, what would it do? Excellent. So yeah, that is taking our nose up and out of water. Let us quickly bring you uh, back down because you don't have any pitch. I have installed some rolls, as you can see. I've got a couple of small thrusters up there for the for the rollies. So let's pop that back, like so. Right. Hey, all right, it is. Looks like we are being hammered. We are being hammered. Oh God, that's this thing. <laughs> Oh <laughs> no, I, I am always scared of this thing, but it just looks like I am about to eat you and poop you out. How are we doing? I know we are getting hit pretty damn, pretty damn hard by that dude. We've got blocks falling off from all over the place. Mind you, at least we got rid of his cramness. That's very good. Uh... Oh, those missiles managed to come in. That is uh, very, very strange how they let those missiles come in. Unless um, they're just too small and we're having issues detecting them. Oh, crapness. That is not good at all. <laughs> we need to sort out some goddamn uh, anti roly roly stuff. Uh, that is for sure. So I think what I'm going to do is, just for now, on our deck, just to hopefully help us out, is chuck a couple of these, these good things on. <laughs> Emergency rollers, please. Um, put you on to roll. Put that on to roll. Come over here to the front, keep our nose, you know, hopefully keep our nose down in the water. Um, we'll just stuff it here. Hopefully that's going to be okay. And that's on pitch. Very good. Alright, so, how is damage looking? Well, at least we're getting him down. It looks like we got rid of that Marauder over there as well. Or well, this one got rid of him, I don't know. Very good. His health below and sinking. That is very nice to see. How are we doing after all of that hammering? Bzz. Now we seem to be okay. Okay, seen was was okay, and as you can see, you know we are still just one one meter thick of shell. That is it. So we really, really need to start to focus on armoring up. That is for sure. Anyway, that dude is uh, gone and out the way. Very nice. The idea was down here. Uh, is is was that we have the huge jets and propellers as you can see there on a spin block um, and then at either at a certain altitude or if we say look go into air mode then uh, hopefully the daddy blades will get us far enough out of the water for our huge jets to be clear from the water so they can actually work so that is the idea. So I'm probably going to have to go through all of our little props and stuff and set something up like this. Now the only thing that I don't like about this is that we need to have this area open uh, with, you know, a light block and another light block here just to keep, you know, our air pressure inside or so we don't lose helium. Um, so yeah, that is one thing. And the other thing is, you know, if a cram does pop near that, those two little light blocks, they're just going to vanish pretty much because they're weak as, weak as hell, really. So that is one problem. Okay, so the other thing that I was thinking about doing was something like this, where we would have a piston and the piston would push, you know, the prop, the propeller or the huge jet, um, something like this so currently this would be in air mode as it has access to air and our water mode would not be active 
So if we did want to go into water mode, then we would have to extend this, what was it, two meters? Crikey, two meters? Three meters? Like that. And obviously, you know, over here, this would be closed off as well. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And like that. But the problem is... <clears throat> Thrusters and so on and so forth on a piston or on a spin block. You can't block them off if you put a block in front of them. That is the problem that I'm having here. So we would still have to say turn on or off uh, thrusters. Just so nobody says, well, you're using an exploit pretty much. Yet still, this is still quite, uh, this is still a three pretty much a three block high thing. Oh Jesus, we're hammering something over there. So that is one of the issues that I'm sort of like running into. Oh damn it, I didn't know what, uh, what, what that was. Oh well. So we have two ways of doing this. Both ways are pretty much going to be taking the same sort of space to set up. And then the other thing, of course, is we can just say, well, look, why don't you just use both on the base of your hull and just turn one set on and one set off, which is going to be far, far, far more simpler to do rather than having things popping out, turning and twisting and all of that good stuff. So I think for now, that is how I'm going to do it. And then once I know how much space I have available towards the end of the build, then we can do something a little bit complex-ish like this, just for, for show, really. That's pretty much the only reason why I wanted to do it like this, is just to have something, you know, moving on the construct, have, have stuff moving around on the construct when you swap between, like, air mode and sea mode. But I think for now, this is how I am probably going to end up doing it. Over here, I do need to set something up to swap between uh, props and thrusters, that is for sure. So we definitely can set something up over there to have some stuff and things, you know, rotate out and all of that good stuff. So, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, that's, that's how I'm going to do things for now. It's quite a boring route this way, but, you know, um just limited right now limited for for space inside our construct really okay so i've gone around the bottom here i've just added in you know a couple of thrusters very boring like like i told you you know we're already um moving parts and so on and so forth uh we shall try to do that you know once we get a better idea as you know in terms of space after we've got all of the components that i think is is necessary for this ship to be okay um, so let's see if we can get this thing airborne properly this time. So let's go on a 40. We comes up. Okay, so we obviously need to turn our props off. It's just so we can save power. Um, i put that ACB somewhere. Where can we pop this ACB? Do we have enough space in here? Looks like we do. Give to me this uh, mirror mode is off. I think that's okay. Let's put it over here. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to actually need to name our thrusters and our props. Just so we can pinpoint things a little easier when it comes to turning things on or off. And we totally missed that kill. Well done me. Looks like we did try to get airborne for a little bit there. But as you can see, you know, from our power down here on the side, we don't have enough power to, to run all of that good stuff. So that is what, you know, is, is the next bit of Bezax that we have to sort out. So what I'm going to do is down here, I'm going to come go all the way around, you know, our props. And I'm going to give them a name. Uh, so we're going to use shift or C shift n to name something and we're gonna say uh well prop like that and i'm gonna do that for all of our props um that are gonna be using uh pitch and push and roll okay so what we've done is over here what have, we've entered in what we're looking for we're looking for our props okay 
and the prop zero propulsion. So we're going to be setting their power scale to 100% if the vehicle is between minus 3 meters and 7 meters. Actually, we can even change that as well to say minimum value between, you know, from infinite negative to 7 meters. Then turn our props uh, propulsion value to 100%. On the other uh, ACB, so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that there. And we're going to say, you know, if we're not between uh, infinite, in, between a negative infinite value to seven meters. So that is, we're saying if we are more or if we're higher than, then we want to turn off those props to zero percent. Okay, so for the next bit of beeswax is we also have to set our, you know, our huge jets uh, and give them also a name. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to do that. So again, you know, I'm doing shift N and I'm saying, I'm going to just say um, jet and copy that. And done. What are we shooting at exactly? There's something farty, farty thing is shooting us who's about to be deleted from the from the universe right so let's carry on and add the names into these thrusters who reads so that's all of the name of our thrusters sorted out so let's go back to our acb fun and in here instead of um, props we're gonna just say jets and we're gonna say jet so if the vehicle altitude is within 9 meters to infinity, then we want to set our propulsion to 100%. And looks like we've gone through a gate. <laughs> so I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to pop that here. And we're going to say if we're not between the 9 and the 4,000, then we're going to turn our jets to 0%. So I'm going to test that and hopefully all of our jets should be off. Excuse me, why is your, is you puffing the smoke us? Why? Why you do this? Huh? Yeah, because we try to put it into reverse. So we'll do it like that. And we'll do the same over here instead of a minus 100% because minus 100% is just going to send things in reverse excellent okay so that is all good so now we shouldn't have any puffs of anything very nice and then if we said okay would you kindly kindly go to 40 then after a while our props should turn off as you can see there our props have turned off very nice and now it's just a question of <laughs> now it's just a question of getting it to fly properly. Uh, hopefully it will level out. Hopefully we have enough. Oh, we don't even have enough juice. We don't have enough juice to keep this thing airborne. As you can see down here, once again, you know, we're back down to zero out of all of that good stuff. So we have to add in more power to get this thing, you know, uh, airborne properly. And I am thinking it's... Probably a battery issue, I'm thinking. So for now, I'm just temporary fill up uh, this area where we should be installing another set of lamb sticks. So let's just get that sorted just for now as a test. Oh, crap. Okay, so how are things looking now? So as you can see, we have, you know, hopefully we have enough power there. We are losing power, so we should probably try to install one or two more RTGs. Okay, so it looks like we're somewhat stable. So what I had to do was I had to remember to go into our, um, over here, into maneuver, maneuver. And set our ideal pitch angle to zero because that was it was fighting between our PID and that it was trying to keep its nose sort of like uh, at the pitch angle 
of what was entered in there. Beautiful, beautiful. So we are currently flying. We are currently flying stable-ish. Definitely needs a hell of a lot more uh, work sorted out on it for sure. Um, I do know that we're going to run into an issue with our laser that if we roll over um, and there is an enemy like over this side or if he's right underneath us, our laser will try to shoot through and it will um, hit our own construct. So as that is breadboard powered, the Zin comes on and off um, with certain commands in breadboard. Where the hell are we in the water? For God's sake, is that because we ran out of power due to the lasers? Looks like it, because, yeah, looks like it. Okay, fair enough. So, yes, definitely needs a lot more power stuff going on in this thing. Needs a hell of a lot of power. Um, so, yeah, as that thing is, you know, breadboard operated, we probably want to set in some more constraints in the if statement to say, well, if the sort of like the angle of the enemy... Um, in comparison to our construct kind of thing if it's greater than a certain amount then you know stay off kind of thing um something like that i guess but for now i'm just gonna leave it as is i know that probably confused a lot of you i mean it confused me even trying to to say it but yeah there you go <laughs> Who cares? We had a little bit of a crash there and had to redo a number of things. Oh, got purple, purple little shells of doom and destruction. What are we shooting exactly? Ow! Oh. Poor little thing. Beautiful. Okay, so over here, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try and rotate between our air and sea, your, you know, when we're in the air and or sea. And we're going to be doing that. I'm going to think I'm going to do this with. Uh, I think we can probably get away with one spin block. Um. kind of looks that way so let's get this thing sorted out then we're gonna be changing this up quite a little bit i think by the looks of things um some blocks i know that currently we can you know as we're spin block on spin block things can pass through each other i think for this you know i'm not really going to worry that much because it is a bit of a pain in the neck. Um, I think I'm going to go with a three. To do that. And something like that. Back onto the original. We'll copy those settings from that prop remove it remove that one go on to this prop uh spin block sorry and say one of those there paste one of those there paste an air one of those there and one of those there let's turn them off for now like that excellent okay so when we are in air mode we want this spinner here to turn 180 so let us give this spin block a name so we don't control all of them so i'm going to call this your spinner or your spin hopefully i don't have another one called that doesn't look like it okay so that's called your spin so your spin needs to rotate 180 degrees if we are in the airness Okay, so we're going to need another two 
these things. One and two. That's actually pretty much we just need to copy that and put it there. But this time instead we're gonna be looking for your spin and instead of propulsion we're gonna be looking for a spin block and rotate 180 that is executing and we should go over there and we should probably and we should see yes very good so we have our thrusters in the right direction now we just need to turn off those props because they're a waste of power so these are called spinner props so we need to turn spinner props off when we are in the air copy that i'm gonna paste that there go into here and this time we're gonna say spinner props and we're gonna set them to zero percent so if the vehicle altitude is not within um you know mine in the water pretty much then yeah we're gonna turn them off and yes this is case sensitive so if you have a capital somewhere you know make sure you put the capital in like that so that should be those front spinner props coming on and off who are in there? so what i have done is we have um named our jets we've named our jet spinner jets popped into the propulsion advanced controller options just put them on u and j so if if there's a forwards or if it's a reverse command then always be positive and over here in our acb stuff and things if i can find them that is we're just turning them on and off from here depending on the altitude uh, we're just giving their propulsion you know uh, on or off really to use 100 percent or zero percent so that is those bits now we need to rotate our thingy back if we're not you know in the air obviously we're not going to turn if we don't do this to zero so like that our front thing should be working fine so currently we're in water mode our thingy has turned around these guys are back on once again i will be touching this front bit up better uh, later on that is for sure you know just make it look a little bit better um so yeah now just have to repeat this on the back over there okay so that should be okay now so if we did go up onto the whole fitty fitty or do fit no not 503 fitty is finks going to work finks are working uh i hope yes the resource zone is over there so we're trying to turn towards the resource zone uh that does appear to be working fine Our detection may have a couple some issues though definitely uh, especially you know any missiles or low missiles coming from down here you know we don't have any detection there so we should probably try to set up some you know some more detection on the on the butthole side of things that's for sure but there you go that is now flying um what i want from you good peoples is in the box in the down there please tell me um, the rules of engagement so what i mean by that is when should we make it fly when should we make it you know use the water i think we should be making it use the water when we need obviously when we need to restock on fuel so that's going to be one of them um probably try to do this all automatically all through breadboard so next upload you know we'll have a bit of a breadboardy sort of like session kind of thing and you know the usual combat stuff and stuff and things and finish up i've got a couple of bits and bobs to finish up up the top here that is for sure we've got um some sort of like wingy wingness stuff and things that need to be you know put on as well but i really think they're even though they're going to be uh working that they're going to be mostly there for eye candy so yeah looks like we still excuse me Ex excuse me looks like we still can't get ourselves into the <laughs> goddamn resource zone <laughs> because yeah um so yes might also set up a different ai card for the whole flying bit might use a six axis might use a hover not too sure there's you know would, do you guys let me know in a box in the down there how you would want 
this to work. And, you know, if there's a couple of different ideas, I'll try to go through all of them in the next upload, I hope. So hopefully you guys, you know, leave me some good ideas and all the stuff that you want to see this thing doing, you know. Uh, and I'll try to get that all sorted up, you know, for the, for, for the next upload. Uh, let's go on to this. Let us go and destroy some stupid, stupid little farty things. And yes, if you are wondering as to the warp, uh, our current difficulty, it is 1.771561. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah, so that was that bit. And there we go through another gate of fun and games. I'm just messing around with our little thrusters down here. What is our currently difficult currently our currently difficulty level is 1.94 now. Jeebus, it has gone up quite a bit. Hopefully, we don't get our backsides handed to us. Okay, looks like we're up against two enemies. Don't know what they are, to be honest. Uh, let's go and have a look. We'll make that more than two enemies. Okay, so we've got one of those. A couple of these. And one of them. And a load of torpedoes. So we're going after that one first. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Let's see how much goodies have they left us. Oh, they've left us quite a bit. That is very nice. We shall gather the snot out of all of that good stuff. So yes, I think for now we're going to call it here. Um, hopefully you guys are also following the X4 Foundation Split Vendetta DLC playthrough that I am also doing on the channel. Uh, I'm going to have something uploaded this week, hopefully, on that. Carrying on, you know, where we left off. 
Uh, with this construct, this construct still has a hell of a lot of work to be done on it, that is for sure. I do want to try to set up um, like a unique way to swap between air and sea mode. So I think I'm most probably going to revisit the whole uh, piston thing, pushing them, you know, like one block forward so they will have access to an opening. Um, just so you know, we don't say, ah, oh, we're using an exploit kind of thing, covering them up. And, you know, keep using the ACBs to turn these things on and off and all of that good stuff. Because I did want to have something, you know, moving on the construct when we, you know, swap between naval and air mode. So that is that. Obviously, you know, we still have a lot of uh, eye candy to do on this construct. Most probably revisit these uh, detections up here because I'm not really liking the looks of them in, in terms of the reference that I'm using. So yes, plenty, plenty more stuff yet to do. We also most probably will be installing a couple of large um, cluster missiles, so surface to surface kind of thing there. Hopefully have them somewhat long range as well. And most probably install a CJE on the back, but honestly, our speed isn't that bad. If we uh, come out of the whole patrol thing, I mean, we are hitting about 50 ms on the straights. Oh, Jesus Christ, Lord and Mighty and all of that. Jesus, Lord, lasers, bzzznesses, and everything else. Looks like there's something uh, having a go at us on, in our backside there. So let us get rid of him. And... Uh, we will leave this one here. Excellent. So for now, my Sumitubians, uh, take care, and I will catch you all on the next one.